Hello guys and welcome to asionit.com. Today I will show you how to install uh, your first blog, how to install WordPress on a uh, cPanel hosting service. Now I am an, I'm at uh, asionit.com and uh, I will show you how to create database and how to upload uh, your uh, WordPress uh, files on your uh, website. To start we need our uh, cPanel uh, user and password. Ok. We can uh, upload our uh, WordPress files through file manager or we can use uh, file zilla. I will use uh, the file manager which uh, comes with the cPanel because it is more easier. Ok, I will create a new subdomain which will be named blog blog.asionit.com I will create. You will install your blog on your uh, first domain name in our case asionit.com ok we will go now to file manager ok do you see the direct directory blog is created ok now we will access blog.asionit.com you see our uh, subdomain is created and now we can upload WordPress files. To download the latest uh, WordPress files we need to access google.com and search uh, download WordPress. We will access the first result. Ok. And now we hit download WordPress 3.6. It's a uh, .zip file and it has 4.3 megabytes. Ok, I had already downloaded WordPress 3.6. Now I will return to the file manager from cPanel. We'll push upload button, choose file and I will search the WordPress 3.6 version in downloads. Now we wait to upload upload this file. It can take up to uh, several minutes. All depends on your internet connection speed. I have a really low uh, internet connection speed, about uh, one hundred uh, kilobits per second. It, it shows in the corner uploading is at 18 88 percent rate okay the upload is complete now we go back to blog our uh, subdomain blog you see we are in public html slash blog because the main website is already created now we push on the wordpress 3.6.zip and we will extract it to blog subdomain close we click on reload you see our folder wordpress is already here but if we want to uh, install uh, the wordpress in the, the front uh, blog such as blog.asean.com we will need to copy all uh, files from wordpress to blog we enter to wordpress directory we hit select all move files and here we delete wordpress and leave it just like this 
publichtml slash blog. In case you install it on your uh, first domain, you will not uh, need to copy it to blog subdomain, you will delete the blog file too. I will now push move files. We wait until the files are moved. OK. Now we enter again on blog subdomain. OK. Now we can start to install the WordPress. Create configuration file. Let's go. Here we need our database name, username, password and uh, localhost table prefix. OK. This uh, MySQL database, we will have to build it in a cPanel. OK. MySQL databases. Here we enter blog to know in the future that this uh, database is from our blog. Create database. Go back. Now we create username blog. As well, we have to know that uh, this uh, username blog is from our blog. That's why I use the same names. I have copied this password in a safe place. Use password. We hit create user. Go back. Now we, add, we have to add user to database. Do you see we have user asion underline blog. We have database asion underline blog. We click on add. We select all privilege and click make changes. OK, now we can set our blog. Here we, we write uh, ASEON blog, ASEON blog, because we have the same database name, the same username, the password uh, was generated uh, when we created the database, and we click submit. OK. We have received the welcome message and now we run the install. Here we type blog asionit.com. The user admin, we type a password, type a really good and secure password. And now we type our email address and click install WordPress. OK, login. I will log in to my uh, WordPress blog. Let me show you how it looks. See, we are on our first uh, run of uh, blog.asion.com. This is all uh, about how to make your first uh, WordPress blog uh, with a C panel is very simple. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to tell us. Have a nice day. See ya.